Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Eichmer 2023. I'm here at the Beta stand, which you can see behind me. Now, when I asked if people had any particular stands or bikes they wanted me to look at, quite a few people asked me about uh, Beta's new Alp 4.0, the, the 350. Um, I must admit, it wasn't really on my radar. I've come across Beta before as making enduro bikes and trials bikes, and they have a whole load of those on the stand as well, uh, probably three quarters of the stand. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you around the stand. Uh, I'll give you some close-ups on the Beta 4.0. They also have a, a 4, 4.0X or a 4X, uh, which looks like it's uh, maybe a bit more adventure-y. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, but nevertheless, I'll give you a close-up look at those bikes because they do kind of look kind of interesting. I think in this sort of 250 to 400 market, there seems to have been a lot of growth lately. Um, and it's great to see uh, Honda's CRF 300 having a bit more competition. Right, I'll show you around. So first up, we have the Alp 200. Now, these have been around for a while. They certainly look very simple. Um, yeah, nothing particularly fancy about them at all. Uh, but they are very lightweight. Uh, I think if you're shorter in the leg, they're very low to the ground as well. Um, the one I've got here, I know this isn't the sort of thing I should be picking up, but there's a few specs you can see on the welding there on the steel frame. Um, yeah, another one there uh, in the black uh, and red instead of the white and red. But I think these are the bikes that are maybe a bit more interesting. So this here, is the Beta Alp X. So this has got a 348cc water-cooled engine. Pretty sure it's a four-stroke. Uh, it doesn't have a upside-down fork. It's got a conventional fork with that low mudguard. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's simple. I'll give it that. You know, it doesn't, doesn't come with a lot of fancy bells and whistles on the front end, but from a practical perspective, for a trail bike, something that you could take and do the ACT or the TET or Transamerica Trail with, I think it actually looks really tidy. Let's have these little uh, pannier racks on the back. Uh, it does have a bit of luggage up there at the top. And um, they've also got it in this sort of is that silver, gray or silver colorway. So yeah, I'm sure that rear hugger could come off and have those indicators relocated. But yeah, I think that's a really tidy bike. Um, can't see what the dash looks like when it's on, but this, uh, this, this X one does come with just little touches like the rubber inserts in the pegs. Uh, it comes with a bash guard that looks like it covers everything pretty well, including including that exhaust. It's got that big front disc uh, with an ABS rotor and what looks like uh, an LED headlamp. So this here is the Beta 4.0. So it's 140 kilos, so pretty lightweight. I think it's about the same weight as a CRF uh, 300, maybe even slightly lighter. And again, you know, very simple. You know, it looks easy to work on. Comes with a bash guard. Comes with a very compact exhaust. I mean, I'm assuming that still meets all the required emission standards. It does have pillion pegs, uh, it does come with luggage racks, it does come with a lockable seat, which for those of you who have uh, CRF 300s and have to take those bolts out each time to get to anything, uh, lockable fuel cap. Um, yeah, uh, the switch gear looks kind of, uh, well, it does have that, some of that sort of slightly shiny plastic, but it's got selectable ABS on that side, and I guess a small uh, rocker switch down there uh, for controlling the screen. It comes with some fairly basic hand guards. And if I just give you a look down this side of it, you can sort of just see the side of that water-cooled engine, uh, the side stand in there, and then, yeah, a uh, chain guard at the back. So, you know, as a small, lightweight tourer, I think that looks pretty good. Um, let you see one more of them. This one here is in a rather tasty red colour. Again, it's got that same fork at the front end. Uh, the 4.0's got this sort of small triangular headlamp instead of the round one that was on the that's on the X, uh, carries 11 litres of fuel. Um, has a fair bit of ground clearance, actually, from looking at that. Um, doesn't actually tell me in the specs that are beside the bike how much it is, but yeah, if I come down low, um, you can certainly see that's probably maybe a foot, somewhere between 25 and 30 centimetres, perhaps. And yeah, I think in red, that actually looks pretty tasty. Now, what Beta also have here is all their competition machines. Now, I'm not gonna talk through these. Uh, I will film them and have a quick walk around uh, this one's the 300 two-stroke. Um, hopefully this is in 4K, so those of you who are interested in details on these bikes can hopefully pick out um, you know, what you want to see from this. Uh, I apologize for not uh, doing a more detailed run-through. This is their 450. Uh, I mean, they do look like amazing machines. Um, it's just not really something that I can speak with any authority on, and there's enough things I get wrong anyway uh, without being corrected about things that I don't know. So yeah, uh, they have a lot of these uh, uh, enduro bikes here. Uh, I mean, they really do look the business. Just over 100 kilos. Coming down this side, we have the 200 RR. We have the 480 four-stroke, which looks amazing. Um, yeah, two-stroke 
250 uh, and uh, a couple more. Right now this might be a bit more interesting. So this is a 354 stroke they have here. And here they have the Beta Cross Trainer, which I know a few people have gone to. Uh, it's a 300cc two-stroke. I know a few people that have gone to these from CRF 300s. Um, definitely looks a lot more like an enduro bike. Um, I mean, no, nobody ever pretend that the um, CRF 300 is. But I think as a, you know, as a, as a two-stroke, as something that's not a full-on competition bike that has slightly easier maintenance intervals, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's uh, still got lots of the, the Beta touches all over it. You just, you know, it's just really, really nicely finished. Coming down this side, we have the, the 250 cross trainer. Uh, and here we have something that's a little bit new. It's just having its uh, stickers fitted to it. Uh, that's a 125 uh, Enduro R. I guess they're still getting ready for the, for the stand. And then a four stroke uh, 125 as well. So I'm just gonna whiz around the rest of the stand because I think this video is probably already getting fairly long. And um, these are like the Enduro racing bikes. Again, all small capacity, is that 50 maybe? Oh yeah, two stroke 50. Uh, tiny little motor in there. And lastly, uh, I'll just finish off by having a walk around uh, the trials bikes they have here. Now I did have a go at trials with Trials Day in the Peak District, uh, the back end of last year, and it was great fun riding these bikes in the snow. Um, again, don't know a great deal about the bikes other than uh, it is the most fun you can have at less than 10 miles an hour. And I spent a day with them and you know, riding a bike in the snow is never fun. Uh, you certainly probably wouldn't do it by choice, but I had an absolute hoot. Uh, I was exhausted by the end of it, uh, but I think in terms of teaching bike skill, I think this really is uh, quite special. Um, and yeah, uh, these all look fine. Um, again, they all weigh next to nothing. Um, and I think it's very much horses for courses. So as a learner, not sure I'd be getting one of the competition bikes, but one of their 250s or maybe a 300 would be ideal. And this last little corner of the stand before I get back, uh, they have a few like electric bikes or like kids, kids trials bikes, mini trials E they call them. There's a, a mini motard and then a couple of super motards and then some racing super motards down this side. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of a flavor of what the beta stand is like. If you want detailed specs on any of these, I'm sure you can get them from the beta website in your home country. So that's it, that is a very quick look around the beta stand, beta, beta, potato, potato, uh, stand here at Eichmer 2023. I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from the show and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.